There's no question the players are tired right now. With the COVID outbreaks, the change in the Olympic schedule, the hectic schedule of the entire season overall, not only the goalies, but the players are probably more tired than they usually have been at this time of the year. And as the Calgary Flames are wrapping up not only a playoff position, but quite likely to Pacific Division as well, Dan Stevenson and I discussed on Monday when it would be time to rest the players. What have you thought of Markstrom lately? Has he looked Marcy tired looks, to you? He looks tired. I mean, it's a typical Daryl Sutter starter. Daryl likes to overplay his starters. And I think he's maybe overplayed Markstrom, especially, you know, at home where Markstrom's been playing a lot. And I think maybe it's time to let Markstrom sit for a little bit. So who would you play Bladar tonight? I'd play Markstrom in LA because I think LA is a must win. Um, I mean, I, I'm of two trains of thought, Kevin. I think you could either play Markstrom till you clinch and then make a Vladar's net for the rest of the season, or I think you play Markstrom tonight against LA. You you get that four points, and then you know you might start of there's a, there's a lot of back to backs here, and I think you might start to see more Vladar even outside those back to backs. But I think you might play Vladar almost exclusively until you've got a big game. Okay, so this week we've got... So we've got LA tonight, then we have Anaheim, San Jose, and then Seattle. Seattle. Uh, Seattle, I think, I think is Vladar's net. Yeah, that that, that would be for sure. Uh, Anaheim. Now, here's a crazy idea. Do you play Vladar in the back-to-back? Do you give him three or four? I actually would. I If they I, get the win tonight, I think you could just run Vladar for the road trip. Yep. And then you give, but the only thing that I, I, uh, the one question then with the home, the, that homestand there, you've got Seattle, Vegas, Arizona. I think you give Markstrom Vegas because I think you want to make sure that where, if Vegas is making the playoffs, you want to make sure that they leave them, leave them with some doubt. So you give Markstrom that one and you give him the April 21st one. See, I don't think you give – I wouldn't give Vladar both of the Seattle games. If you're giving Vladar Seattle on the road, you give Markstrom Seattle at home. Give him a different okay. look. Okay, and then would you give Vladar the Coyotes on the 16th? I, yeah, I think that's definitely – I think the Seattle, one of the Seattle games, the Coyotes, are tailor-made for Vladar, if not both. Both. I mean, if, if you want to do it that way, Kevin, maybe do Vladar in L.A. – or, sorry, Markstrom in L.A., Markstrom in Anaheim, Vladar in San Jose, Vladar in in uh, Seattle, Vladar in against Seattle, and give him those last three. So split the back to back, and then go three with Vladar. Okay, so okay, so let's see. Okay, Marks from tonight. So Marks from L.A. Marks from Anaheim. And San then... Jose, Vladar. Seattle at Seattle, Vladar at versus Seattle, Vladar. So you play Vladar um, essentially two Seattles and the Coyotes, then you play Markstrom LA or sorry, Markstrom Vegas. And then, uh, Vladar Arizona. So you're playing yeah. Vladar in really five, what five of seven then. Yeah. And I think that rests. I think that that should help him now with the plethora of players that you also have here, if you're bringing up Valimaki, if you're bringing up Mackey, you brought up Ruzichka. Um, Maybe the other question that I have is there, I think, do you think there's some other players that are looking a little tired? Um, I think. Yeah, there, there are, but I think, and I think that maybe, and maybe we treat the goalies like I would treat the players, play them all till you clinch. As Daryl says, we haven't clinched yet. I don't know. I start sitting those guys, especially with, as you mentioned at the top of the show, teams right on the flames heels. I don't know if I start sitting out tired guys. No, no, no. Um, but I do think at some point here, like when do you, th- okay, let me, let's maybe plan it this way. When is a reasonable time that they clinch? Like you look at this schedule and what are we trying to clinch? Are we trying to just clinch the playoffs or does first place matter? I think first place matters, but you you can't be first place if you're not in the playoffs. So let's just get to the playoffs first. Okay. 
I think based on the math, I was doing the math last night after our show. I think based on how other teams do, I believe we can have a playoff clinch by the end of the week. Okay, so... Um, My math okay, could so be off on that. That You're probably... The you're issue pro- is going to be how everybody does, right? Like, the West, the West is so tight right now. Yeah. Um, let's be realistic. They're, the Flames are not falling out of the playoffs. They might fall out of number one, maybe. They're not falling out of the playoffs. No. No. Um, the nice thing about this month for those that are road guests is you got a four game road trip. You got a that back to back day make up with Chicago, Nashville, and then you got Nashville, Minnesota, Winnipeg at the end of the year. So you've got a little bit of you, you have some bonding time here, but um, yeah, I to me, the one issue, one and one, hand, I could I see, think, no, I could see not taking some of the top guys on that final road trip, that final back to back road trip to Minnesota, Winnipeg, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, Winnipeg, that that Winnipeg game won't matter. No. And I think by then, the Minnesota game really won't matter for Calgary standings. Yeah, so you can t- you can take him to Nashville, clinch first, and then... And then Which one, Chicago? Yeah. Well, no, because there's two games in Nashville, right? There's the 19th, and then you get the 26th. Okay, I'm yeah, thinking twenty sixth. Okay, um, because if you can clinch everything by the by that home game against Vancouver on the on the twenty third, then and you know I think let's maybe look at this differently, Kevin. Instead of looking at maybe you know clinching and what we do, maybe we just got to start you know rolling lines a little bit better, not taking guys out of lineup, which I think is maybe what you and I are both thinking. But how can we – and if everyone can be effective, let's just roll the lines and get guys rest that way. Yeah. What do you think? When should the Calgary Flames start resting players? Follow us on Twitter at Shifts and Pucks, Facebook.com Shifts and Pucks, YouTube.com Shifts and Pucks, Twitch.com Shifts and Pucks. Subscribe wherever you get your audio as well as on the Area 51 Sports Network.